Hi, in the dumpster room, which is getting pretty full by the way. Look at this, haven't found a little portable amp like this. It's a, what is it, Jordan's, is it? A PGA 10 little amp. Isn't that groovy? Um, I, it looks pretty old, but that's interesting, is it not? So, I might add that, I don't look. Oh, it's still got the tag on it, look at that. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to nab that and <laughs> maybe do a little teardown or something. Well, I don't think I know much about guitar amplifiers. Um, I think this is probably a yeah, nah. Um, well, it's old, obviously. Uh, it's a 10 watt amplifier. That's what the uh, 10 stands for there. And I couldn't find any real info on a Jordan. There's a Jordan with an A, but not Jordan with an I. It's made in China, and yeah, I think it's like a, just a cheap, no-name rip-off uh, brand from China. You can actually buy a Jordan here in Australia, but we're talking like 80 bucks or something. So, yeah, I think this is a yeah, nah. Um, let's have a quick look inside, though. Hmm. And check out the rust. I mean, yeah, no, nah, this thing's gone. I, I think I should have left it in the dumpster. <laughs> anyway, this is sold by Musical Merchandisers. There you go. And you get a 12-month warranty and a 3-month warranty on the speakers. Um, yeah. Comically long screwdriver time. Let's give it a burl. I'll spare you the details. I'll get back to you once it's open. Well, we are open. And, well, there's our driver. Is that a date code? 2003 um it's just a no name no idea if that's any good or not um there's no acoustic material in the box uh whatsoever so it's just like really cheap chipboard and up here we have our transformer oh they went to the effort to put a cable tie on it and we've just got a single side of board that's it and there it is um yeah it's just the cheapest crappest uh construction you can imagine um it's pretty how you doing yeah it's certainly built down to the like 80 dollar like aussie i think uh price category i'm surprised they actually put loctite on a few of these screws uh well, you know at least someone had attention to detail. Well, there you have it. Uh, there's not much on the uh, single-sided jobby here. There's a whole bunch of stuff missing, actually, so I'm not sure what's doing there. But uh, anyway, uh, there you go. <laughs> there's our bridge rectifier input. Uh, we've got a discrete output transistor stage. What do we got there? We've got a B1366 and a 2058 there. Not familiar with those offhand. But uh, there you go, the 4558 fanboys go wild. Um, yeah, we've got two um, <laughs> Asian sourced 4558s there. Um, nothing to write home about at all. In fact, it's all very meh. It's what you expect from like, I don't know, an 80 buck Australian retail guitar amplifier. Um, uh, there you go. It's got solder mask. Uh, uh. Probably should just put it... Oh, Rubicon caps! Are they genuine Rubicon or are they uh, second sourced? Hmm. Anyway, uh, that's extremely underwhelming, so that's probably going to go back in the dumpster and there's the transformer in it. Um, once again, nothing to write home to your mum about. Uh, yeah. Yeah, nah. Um, thought I had something, but... Ugh, it ain't like a Fender or whatever the top brand is. Sorry, I don't know my guitar amplifiers. <laughs> this should be Frantone. Catch you next time.